Hey guys, it's Media Girl here. In this video, I'm creating a gorgeous, transparent, and sparkly resin bowl with my flower mold. I'm starting off by painting my mold with my mica powders. So the first color I put on here was the Polycolor Gold. Now I'm putting gold dust around the edges. It's pretty light so you can't see it, but it'll definitely make a difference in the final product. And this mold's about 13 to 14 inches. You can get it on Amazon and it is textured. Now this color is this little piggy and it's called Pretentious. You can get it from Fluid Art Co. It is an awesome chameleon color. So it's kind of purple, blue, gold, green. It's hard to say what color it is because it's chameleon, but it is really pretty. And I wanted this to be the the focal color of the piece essentially and then here i'm using some aluma dust light pink now aluma dust is not actually carried anymore um, the company now sells this product as polycolor micas which were the first two that i used were polycolor so they have a color that's similar to this so just look for a polycolor light pink um, if you want a color similar to this one and I'm sure there are other brands that you could use as well. There's no resin on here yet. I'm just painting the micas directly onto the mold. Once I'm done with my design, I mix up my resin and then pour it into the mold. I do my design first so it doesn't cut into the resin work time. This is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And an important note, I'm not filling the mold up completely. If you fill it up completely, it'll be too thick and it will be hard to bend and can likely crack. So I put about 12 ounces in here and then now I'm just heating it with my heat gun to help it get all the way to the edges and to get rid of air bubbles. I also do let, uh, let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I spray it with some isopropyl alcohol and usually do that a couple times in order to make sure that I get all of the air bubbles out. Now I waited about five, five and a half hours on this one, and then I demolded it. That's going to depend on your resin and the temperature in your workspace, how long you need to wait. I demolded this one a little bit sooner than I normally would have, um, so it was a little bit stickier than usual, but that's okay. And then I molded it into, this is just a regular plastic bowl. It's 100 ounces. It's about 11 inches across, and I got it from Amazon. So I put it inside the bowl and then shaped the edges how I want. You could also drape it over the outside of the bowl if you wish, but this is how I prefer to do it. And then you're going to let it cure. So I came back the next day and how I demold it is I just gently um, pull on the sides until it pops out. It should come out very easily. I don't use any kind of mold release or anything like that. And here is the bowl. I think it is just gorgeous. So it's transparent. Um, this is primarily decorative. You cannot eat out of this bowl, but you could use it for, you know, fruit or candy or something like that. Um, but this is just really, really pretty. And of course, use any colors that you want. These are just the colors that I chose, but make it your own and have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.